Well, Fatty Arbuckle was eventually, after three or four trials, he was exonerated of having anything to do with uh, Miss Rappe, was that her name? Yes, Virginia Rappe. Yeah. And he tried everything. He tried writing, he tried to meet a director, he tried everything. He tried using another name and he couldn't get himself lost. So one day we were having our photos taken out, and Thack was taking some publicity photos of the gang outside of the uh, studio, in front of the studio, and there were a number of people watching us, the uh, passers-by watching us getting photographed. And Fatty was standing talking to the uh, gate man about something. I don't know what he was talking about. But there in the middle of the street, quite a little way, maybe a hundred yards away, a hundred away, there was a mad dog. And it was swaying and just standing there swaying and swaying. And it started to come near us and the people started to scream, mad dog, mad dog, rabid dog. And everybody started to run and they told us to go in this, because there's a mad dog. He was coming toward us except for this tiny little girl, maybe 18 months to two years old, maybe that old. And she says, night doggy, night doggy, and she's walking towards the doggy. And nobody does anything. The people who are now were, were running away are now looking at the mad doggy and this little girl saying, night doggy, night doggy. Nobody's doing anything. The dog is coming closer to the little girl. The little girl is coming closer to the doggy. And like a flash, Fatty Arbuckle is across the lawn and gathers the little girl up in his arms and takes her to safety, or at least, you know, a bit more safety than she was at. And at this time, Stan Laurel comes out of the front of the studio. And uh, he starts walking towards Fatty. And this the woman, who was the mother, rushes up to Fatty Arbuckle, snatches the child out of his arms, wow. and rushes away. Not a thank you, not a go to hell, not a Merry Christmas, nothing. Just snatches the child from this vile man who just saved her daughter's life. and. The, uh, Stan rushes over, puts his arms around Fatty, who has tears rolling down his cheeks, and takes him across the street and buys him some blueberry pie with ice cream on it to cheer him up. What year would this have been? Oh, this was probably about 1927, 28, because I was pretty small, so it was probably 1927. And that's... Uh, but I always remembered that that woman snatched her child as though it was she was it was going to be, she would take it or somewhere and have it decontaminated from touching, and yet Fatty had snatched this child up, and I we the dog wasn't more than uh, ten feet away when he got the baby, and then of course by that time uh, there were the, the people had come that catch dogs the dog catchers or whatever they were called, they put a net over the dog and so it was all right. But what would have happened if the little girl if nobody had Yes. Had nobody had come and yet it was this vile, fat, disgraced man who rushed over and snatched this little girl up. Oh, I think that woman was a horrible person.